Okay, so let's consider another mixture question here. Uh, in this problem here, we have some 10% glucose solution, or in other words, sugar water. Uh, and we want to know how much of that should we mix with 300 milliliters of an 80% uh, glucose solution. Uh, so water and sugar, so 80% of it's sugar, to get a 20% solution. Okay, so here's the scenario. Maybe you're you're working in a hospital and uh, your standard glucose solution might be 10%, uh, but you have a patient who needs to uh, have a higher concentration, so a a 20% solution. So we have this higher concentrated glucose, uh, and we're going to be using 300 milliliters of it, and we want to figure out well how much. Uh, you know, 20 how much 10% solution should we use to bring it down so that the overall mixture is 20%. So in any mixture problem, I like to draw the standard picture. Uh, we're combining two things together to get a second thing, a third thing. And then we always label. So here we have a 10% solution, an 80% solution, and a 20% solution. Uh, turns out in this problem you can write those as percentages or decimals. You can actually get by with either one, so I'm going to keep them as percentages. As long as you're consistent throughout the whole problem. So now we know, as we did in the previous problem, how much we have of one of the things. We have 300 milliliters of the 80% solution. We do not know how much 10%. So we can mark that with an X or whatever variable you want. And so then, in total, we'll have X plus 300 of the overall mixture. Whatever X comes out to be, we'll have X plus 300 uh, milliliters of whatever the mixture is. Uh, as we did in the other problem, once you have the chart set up, with the diagram set up, we can now multiply down to get our equation. So x times 10 percent would be just 10x. 80% uh, times 300 and 20% times x plus 300. And so then we set about trying to solve this equation. So a little bit of simplifying to do. We can do 300 times 80 which will give me 24,000 so I have 10x plus 24,000 and then on the other side, distributing through by 20, I have 20x. 20 times 300 will be 6,000. 20 times 300 will be 6,000. And so now I just need to solve this equation to find x. I've done the big work in the problem, the heavy lifting. Now it's just a matter of finishing it off. So I decided to bring the 10x over to both sides, uh, giving me, you know, getting rid of it over here. So it's just on the left hand side. And while I was at it, I decided to go ahead and move the 6,000 over to the other side as well. And so simplifying here, the 10 X's are gone. We'll have 24,000 minus 6,000, which will leave us with 18,000. 20 minus 10 X, which will leave us with 10 X. And then we just need to solve that equation for X. So we divide both sides by 10. And we get that eight, x equals 1,800 milliliters. We're going to need 1,800 milliliters of the 10% solution, meaning the total answer will be 300 plus 1,800, or 2,100 total milliliters of our mixture, or 2.1 liters of our mixture. Okay. So this is, again, a standard uh, mixture problem. Uh, in most mixture problems, you're going to kind of follow this process through. Uh, pretty much like we've done here. Pretty much like we've done here. And if we kind of come back and compare the answer here, 10% uh, to 80%, 10% was way closer to the 20%. That's why we needed so much more of it compared to the 300 milliliters of the 80% solution. So you can always use that how close is one to kind of get a rough idea of if your answer is correct or not. 